We want you to see that our famous Achimota forest, as we know it, where well, this forest is intact. Also, the government, our ministry, and our agency, uh, the Forestry Commission, has, within the past four years, been undertaking, uh, um, I would say, an aggressive reforestation of this particular forest. Please, coming soon in June, on June 10th, we intend to take, carry on with the tree planting exercise that we've been doing here. What we planted are all here, they are growing. You saw them as we walk past. The current ones too, we are going to plant. We will nurture them for them to grow. So please, uh, we want Ghanaians to understand that the Achimota forest has not been sold and is intact and we are even making more efforts to make sure that it becomes the forest that we know. Just when we thought the Achimota Forest Reserve saga was dying a natural death, a certain will resurrected it. It is reported to be the will of the former chief executive officer of the Forestry Commission. In this will, Kojo Ousuafri, popularly called Sir John, allegedly allotted to some of his relatives portions of the Achimota Forest lands. In the will, Sir John disclosed that he also owned land at the Ramsia area in Sakomono in Accra. The revelations in his will come at a time the government is given portions of the Achimota forest land supposedly to its original owners. This has caused public uproar and a subsequent response from the Deputy Lands and Natural Resources Minister Benito Osubio, whose office has already commenced investigations into the matter. Please, I've told you. After please, the press conference. Why, you didn't come no, here please, 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 I did not come here. Will speak uh, we came here because yes. water. I know. Yes, I know. but I and I'm even scared that maybe the Achimota Forest lands um, ish, um, documents are. Ha, uh, well, that's what we are finding on. That is why it shouldn't be only Achimota. We are saying that, that is that is the heartbeat of the nation now. That documents of lands commission is intact, including everything. Not only Achimota Forest. Everything is intact. All documents are intact, including Achimota Forest. Dodowa Forest, Yinani uh, Forest, and everywhere is intact. The Lands Commission, the office tasked with keeping all records of land transactions and sale insist no records in their inventory indicate that Sir John and his affiliates had purchased portions of the Achimota Forest. James Dodson is the Executive Secretary of the Commission. Uh, I believe that the Minister has addressed the uh, Achimota issues adequately. Um, anything that is furnished to the Lands Commission as far as registration of land, when it comes, we will update our records. But for now, what the minister said is what the situation what is. is the we don't have. No. You know, we have the original acquisition and then the new EI that the minister talked about. It has to go through a certain process before it comes here for us to record it. So it is not here yet. So we have the original acquisition in our record. So as far as the Lands Commission is concerned, we don't have um, records as in allocations to people and registration and all of that. We're going through our records. There were um, some um, uh, under the old system and we are, we, are, we are doing records information right now and we are putting this to um, all the transactions that have taken place. I am sure by tomorrow we'll have it all assembled, what we have as far as the past activities in our records is concerned regarding the acquisition and, and all of that. What, what you have read is what I have also read. There's nothing in our records regarding that one. Thank you very much. Regarding Sir John owning five acres, just put that on record for me. If that is what is actually the facts of the matter. Oh, that, that is exactly the situation. That's what you read is what I read. We don't have anything recorded here for Sir John uh, as far as our records go. A former Lands and Natural Resources Minister, Inus Afuseni, questioned why this revelation while an investigation is ongoing. So that, there are many questions. That's why I say there are many questions. How, how did he acquire the land in the Achimota Forest? How, how did he acquire the land at the Ramsar site? We, we need to establish that. Both the Achimota Forest and the Ramsar site are protected sites and come under the jurisdiction of the Forestry Commission. Well, the wheel can fail, okay? The wheel, the wheel can fail. And so, uh, if he made a will, just like you said, and a will is tempted by illegality, 
in the device that has been made in the wheel, uh, it will fail. And so uh, the uh, that's why I'm saying that there's the need to uh, settle this matter by investigation. And I'm I'm going to encourage that the government has already taken initial steps to satisfy itself. I'm not so happy that the government has already concluded that at the Forest Commission that there is no indication mm. of any document because uh, if there is going to be uh, 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 an investigation, you don't need to prejudge the just carry out and see what what what, what was it that encouraged, motivated, and, and goaded mm. uh, uh, to believe is to believe that uh, he had title to the properties in the forest. Meanwhile, government and the Lands Commission assured that there is a backup of all documents that were destroyed by Saturday's floods at the premises. Power has been restored into this building. Work is going on. There hasn't been any significant um, disruptions in our work. We had good sunlight today, so those that were affected by the rain, we took them all out. The boxes, some of them got destroyed. You can see we've packed them outside. The data in them, the hard copies, have been retrieved. We've called our consultants, top archives. They brought in the boxes. They are coming in tomorrow with 100 boxes so that we rip back all of them and then introduce fresh barcodes on all the boxes. As, as those of you who visited the records room, you saw it there that all our boxes are intact because they, 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 are all, they all have stands under them. And so the records are all, all intact. To this was an act of God. Nothing here can be linked to Achimota Forest or whatever forest. But then uh, all files and documents are intact. Uh, they've been saved. Every document here too, there's a soft copy of it. And as such, shouldn't, shouldn't in case anything of that even happens, uh, we can assure everyone that we can reprint uh, the replacement documents so that they can be used. So Ghanaians uh, should know that all their documents in terms of land title, uh, property uh, transactions and all that is safe. This is what is left of the documents in question. They were destroyed as a result of um, Saturday evening's um, rains. But the Lands Commission has assured that it has soft copies of all these documents. Therefore, they are safe and intact. I am Kojo Achman reporting for City News.